Welcome back everyone, I'm Mr. Grimms, and we're gonna continue on Rogue Legacy. Holy crap, that is one giant lady with a white beard. Very tempted. I'm very tempted to pick her, but I'm not sure. And, you know, I found out last video that you can actually lock the castle without paying anything at all. I mean, you'd suffer the 60% less gold everywhere else, but that can actually be very useful. So, why don't we just stick with, uh... Lady Henarita, because I really want to use that Guardian Shield. And it proves to be extremely useful. But I can't see in 3D, so I've never seen that. I haven't been stereo blind before. And we only have 162 gold. Not a lot for anything. Alright. <clears throat> so, I'm not sure. Yeah, let's just lock it down. Because right now, I at least want to get through to see how much of the castle I can explore. So everything should be the same now. Alright. <clears throat> Don't need to see that journal. So let's go back to the Maya. Definitely the Maya is going to be the first place to conquer. Because I really want to get uh, the entire area covered. Crap. Alright. Well, those are the only two I just wanted to get rid of. Let's take a look at the... Okay. So, I could try getting the fairy chest once again. I probably should put it off for now. <laughs> Alright. So, I remember this area. And here's that crazy teleport that actually led me to the, uh, towards the east of the map. Alright, so it only takes four hits to kill that. What is this guy? Okay, ninjos. Now watch out for those shurikens. And we're finally at our boss. Let's get all the gold as, as we go in. I'm just a little bit curious of seeing what the rooms are above me and below me. Oh, this is actually- Oh, crap! It's these guys, Barbados and Armand. These guys totally whooped my butt. And we have that. And what is in the last room? Okay. Let me just wipe these guys out. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay. This, uh, this room's actually a dead end, so it might hold something of value. <laughs> oh, I hate this guy. Alright, well, at least we got some gold. Wasn't too much, although I'm not sure why this is here. <clears throat> Alright, I think we should go ahead and head for that boss. Uh... Alright, let's just go right through it. The top ones are actually mini boss, but again, I want to try to complete an actual main boss for now. This one's going to be different. Ponce de Leon, the Sentinel. Alright. Oh jeez, I barely did any damage to that guy. Whoa! Okay. This is gonna be extremely difficult. Oh my god, he's leaving no room for me. Oh crap! Oh! No! Oh my god. I don't think we were supposed to fight that boss yet. I do not think we were supposed to get that far. <laughs> but... By using the architect, we're gonna just go exactly the way it is. So that way it won't be too crazy. Let's see. So we got... Oh, we got all navs. Okay. Well, let's pick the ones with the less annoying traits. Even the most valiant heroes with irritable bowels. Must clear... St okay. So OCD, you can actually get your mana back as you break stuff left and right. That's going to be extremely useful. 
So let's go ahead and go for it. Even though I'm never a big fan of the uh, just random critical hits, it's still, it's still, it, it still can be very good. So let's go right in. Let's go ahead and tell him to lock that thing. We need to find Kidir first and foremost. Oops, excuse me. <clears throat> so if, if Kidir's not gonna be up there, he has to be on this level somewhere and I'm gonna have to find him. Right in that area. All right, let's do it. Ooh, already a critical hit. Not bad. All right, well, I can check this room out just in case. All right. Okay, so we can definitely use that fountain on the way back. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully we do go exactly the same way as we came, because I would love to use that. I have a feeling I'm gonna eventually need to use it. Oh. Okay, well this place actually ended up you know, way more... Uh, way more complex than I thought. I actually thought it was just gonna be like maybe two or three rooms and just a simple dead end. <clears throat> well, might as well check this entire room, because there's this is actually just one giant room. There's no other doors other than the, uh, the one above. See if we can get past this guy. It usually takes two hits to kill that guy. Okay. Well, three hits since I'm a nav. That vicious. That freaking clown. That clown of the portrait. He has that really fun mini game where you gotta destroy as many targets as possible. Just look at him. He's just like, hey, how's it going? Just going through, huh? Okay. Well. I'll be sure to visit you. Hopefully. Ah, okay. So, I thought this was actually going to be much more complex of a maze, that second path that I chose, but it just led us to another teleporter, which is going to be awesome. Whoa, Land of the Darkness. Holy crap, okay. I have a feeling this guy is possibly... Yeah, we're not supposed to be here. Level 63, we're kind of... We're way out of our league. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go ahead and jump here first. We need to go in that one specific room we haven't been to yet. Which would be... Let's see, are we getting near there? Ah, we're getting close. Oh, nice. One hit kill. Oh, crap. These guys are going to be troublesome. Oh, that's close. Alright, so, oh, we actually have one, two, three areas we haven't checked yet. <clears throat> Defeat all enemies. Damn it. Well, oh! Never mind. Okay, how the heck are we gonna get this guy? Uh. Well, that was well worth trying. <laughs> Obviously, we can't kill a second. Oh, hey now. It's gonna be one of those random chests. 25% of my current goal. All right. Now, I chose the middle one last time. Let me ask Mrs. Grimms what she thinks. Should I get the left or the right chest? What do you think? Right is always right. That's a good point. What's in the box? Nothing. Nothing's in the box. You stupid, so stupid. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mrs. Grimms. That's the last time I'm gonna listen to you. The only thing I found from his chest so far is he would actually give you your money back. I haven't seen him actually give him, uh, give you any, or give the character any kind of uh, item yet. So there's not to say that he doesn't give anything. I just don't know it yet. All right. So we're making good progress on this run. Still trying to look for that first boss. All right. These Doom Vods can be extremely annoying since they don't really get knocked back on hit. 
And we found the first boss. All right. Now, before we actually hit this first boss, there's one more room we haven't uh, went to yet. That's actually right over here. <coughs> oh, oops. All right. Now, I'm not sure if this place has anything in particular that might be of any use to us. But we're going to see. Huh, that's weird. That one enemy just all of a sudden got killed. Okay, well, okay, there's nothing here. Let's go ahead and kill Kidir once and for all. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident that we can do this. All right. Ah, oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, I think we can do this. Oh, no! We landed right on top of the eyeball. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's no worries. We're going to jump right back into it. We're going to fight that guy. We're not going to waste any time. You know what? We're going to use the quantum translocator. This is going to be extremely useful. This is going to be perfect. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. All right, we'll just head right into it. <clears throat> I know a great use for killing Kadir with this uh, trait. I haven't tried it yet, but I know it's going to work. Let's just go right into it. Now that we've locked the castle, we can just go right to, right to him. All right, we're going to get it. We're going to get in that booty. All right. All right. All right. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, I had to do it more than once. There we go. Whoa, wrong way. Crap. I need to finish him now before he kills me. Yes, got him. That is the very first successful boss run. With one attempt, I believe, in this video. We did it! Let's see what goodies we got this time. All right, stats increase, plus one strength, and four armor. All right, so I guess it's just random stats permanently. And that takes care of one boss. Awesome, well that was a pretty good victory even though we kind of failed the very first time. Um, oh, sweet. Just in, just in time for some food. Okay, well, it proves that, it just goes to show that the, the teleport ability is gonna be extremely useful. You just gotta know how to use it, when to use it and especially in those sticky situations how wise you're going to be with it so as always well you know what let's just just for safety let's go ahead and teleport back to the beginning i mean eventually we're going to die again i don't think we can leave the castle i don't I haven't tried it so <clears throat> but as, uh, as always thank you so much for watching this was a great run we're going to continue on to, and most likely we're going to die in the next one because i basically have no help this is mr grims and I'll see you guys in the next video.